Time is important, but we end up wasting most of it. Take a look at how you have spent your day today, for example. You probably didn't accomplish much. In fact, an average adult spends five hours every single day on social media, which adds up to 15 years over a lifetime. But there is actually a different reason why you end up wasting your time. I remember when I was in college, at the beginning of the semester, I would imagine myself writing a great assignment because I have over a month to work on it. Every single night, I would research a little bit and write a little bit. So over a month, I would write a perfect assignment. But what would end up happening is that I would start working on that assignment only a day or two before the deadline. You probably had the exact same experience. It's not a surprise because that's the nature of any human being. According to Parkinson, work expands so as to fill the time available for its completion. Let's say you have to write a short essay. It will probably take an hour or maximum two hours, but you decide to dedicate your entire day to finish it. When your brain realizes that you have more time to finish the job than you need, your brain will complicate the task to fill all the empty time. Here is how. When you just start writing, you suddenly remember that you forgot to call your doctor. So you will call him first and then get back to work. It's only going to take a few minutes. You will start working much slower. You will get distracted after writing each sentence. You will want another cup of coffee maybe or check your Instagram. After every distraction, you need some time to get back your mind to the task. But at the end of the day, the goal is to stretch the task for all the available time. You end up spending an entire day accomplishing a task that only requires two hours. That's why if you want to stop wasting your time, you always have to set the minimum amount of time for any task. In fact, it's dangerous when you give it more time than it requires. Because in the process, you feel like you're busy, you're working, you're writing that assignment, you're editing that video, so you can't work on anything else. You can't even rest properly because you are working. But in truth, you aren't accomplishing anything. Here is what you should do. Write down how much time you need to accomplish a certain task. Then cut it in half and work only under that period of time. If you need two hours to finish that, give yourself only an hour. Don't worry about the quality. Your job is to finish the task before the deadline. You will be amazed by how creative you suddenly become. Ideas will flow into your mind from everywhere around. You will think of new creative ways to get it done. I'm not talking of some kind of hypothetical, unrealistic, extraordinary abilities. This is something that happens to all of us when we are under such circumstances. That's why you finish your assignment right before the submission. Because if you do not submit it the next morning, you are going to fail. Don't stretch the time hoping that you will do a better job. You will simply reduce your productivity and waste your time.